Hey all, Frank Omatic here. As I mentioned in my info, I have my first backlog. But instead of doing it all at one time, or instead of doing it one at a time, I'm going to do it all at once, because I like to treat my fans right. I don't have many of you, but this is your reward for hanging out with me. First up is Arrow the Acrobat, requested by Tommy Two Times 77 in which you play an acrobat in a circus, who just happens to be a bat. Which makes it very puntastic. I actually really like the music in this one. That's your attack. But in this one, you have to... In this level, you have to jump on all the, uh... star platforms. Ooh. And make them all disappear, like this. It's a very traditional platformer. Little goals along the level to make it a little, little more interesting. You can also fly temporarily. These are checkpoints. The rings give you points for going through them. I never beat this game, just because it gets really hard later. It doesn't start out too bad. But it gets there pretty quickly. One of the best parts about this game is the music, honestly. I think it's awesome. And also, kind of a rare in kind of a rare move for platforming games, you have a hit bar. So you can take more than one hit. Those fire... well, from some, from enemies. Those fire rings that the one I just jumped through will kill you if you mess it up. And you see your health is measured by the A's down there in the bottom left. And level complete. I've got about six games to do, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on each one. I like his little, uh, sun sunglasses dance there, too. But, find and rescue Ariel. Ariel is the love interest. Another puntastic name, since he's also a bat. Well, this one's tough, but it controls well. Ooh, crap. That item lets you fly as much as you want for a little while. Until you touch the ground. Ouch. These guys are tough and obnoxious. I usually just I recommend avoiding them for the most part. Ugh. And they throw crap at you. Damn it. There. Oh, that was stupid. But now that I've died, time to move on to the next game. Up next is Spy vs. Spy on the Nintendo. Requested by Tycoon the Lamb. Let it be known that it, before we even get started, I am really terrible at this, so uh, prepare to laugh. I'm going to keep it on the lowest level just so I might have a somewhat of a chance. But, uh... Anyways, the object of the game is to find some hidden items and then make it out of the level alive. You can set traps for the other spy and all that kind of good crap. See, I'm the white spy. And right now I just hit a bomb. There's a bag, some money, a passport.
And now that I've killed the other guy... Oof. And that's what happens if you try and leave without all the right stuff. And he just walked right into my trap there. Come on, come back to life. And I'm pretty sure I just blew myself up with my own bomb there. It's a very simple little game. It's one of those games that's much better with two people. Admittedly. Okay, now I've got all this stuff. And we flee the scene. And he almost forgets all the stuff, so he runs back and gets it. His laughing sounds kind of like a alarm clock, doesn't it? Well, not everyone will know this, but uh, this is based on a feature that was common in Mad Magazine at the time. Spy vs. Spy. I have no idea if Mad Magazine is still around or not, and I have no idea why the other spy explodes. But... He does. So anyways... Let's uh, throw it up. Just for fun, let's throw it up to the maximum. It has two massive floors. Which just makes this a pros. I have no idea why I turned blue. Well, whatever happened, it just made us both die. But, I've pretty much shown you all there is to show about this one. The higher levels just make it more of a chore. Honestly. Because there's so many more rooms to search through. So, on to the next one. The rest of the games in my list were requested by Hector Puppet, and they are all on the Commodore 64. Starting off with Bruce Lee. A pretty cool little platformer, admittedly, that I've never been able to beat, because it gets pretty tough later. In which you control Bruce Lee and try to collect a whole bunch of lanterns in order to defeat a, uh, I don't know, a wizard or something. I forget exactly. But, uh... Yeah, 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 come on. I love the psychedelic loading screens in the C64. No, I don't cheat. But yeah, you could actually play this one with your... with a friend, uh... Oops. One moment. I have my joystick in the wrong port. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. You could have your, as I was saying before that, the ninja and the green sumo. You could actually have a friend of yours control one of them. while you control Bruce Lee. Oof. You can do a jump kick or a punch. The jump kick is far more effective than the punch could ever hope to be. You don't really have to worry about it too much, though. The opponents aren't that, uh... 